hi guys this is Rasgir so today I'm doing a video regarding uh, Ryzen to, uh, 2600 uh, X for those who are uh, having the same issue which the temperature actually very high when doing uh, export in video editing so for normal usage and also gaming there's no issue that I encountered it's only on the video uh, export as you can see in the screen so I'm using shortcut and then I export the video you can see I can reach up to 90 degrees 90 degrees so this one is a uh, Ryzen 2600X with a stock cooler so the temperature actually very high So I'm showing you the Ryzen Master uh, temperature reading. So it heats up to 90 de 91 degrees. There's only uh, one application that is running. It's only the shortcut. And I'm doing the export during this time. Here you can see it heats up to 99 degrees maximum in the CPU uh, camp. For this particular video, I'm showing you the difference between um, using aftermarket cooler from Cooler, cooler Master MA620P. So I'm showing you the difference between the two coolers. I'm not actually endorsing any product here. Um, this is just to help for anyone encounter the same problem so you might be uh, yeah this might can help you also as well before you uh, buy some other coolers so as shown here you can see the difference i'm also still using shotcut i'm doing the export you can see the cpu utilization it reached up to 100 percent and the temperature is only 72 degrees so there's a very high difference compared to earlier using the stock color stock color i hit actually 92 degrees sometimes it goes up to 95 degrees and once once it increases it doesn't go down already so this one using the aftermarket so the temperature is actually very low I think the maximum that I hit only for this one is only around 75 degrees and it stops there. For those who are actually only gaming, I know um, some office uh, works without video editing, I think yeah, the stock holder can, yeah, you can use that one. I'm not sure if for other uh, editing application if uh, you will encounter the same problem similar to shortcut but yeah that's the application I know right now therefore I need to look for a, a solution on my case so this one I'm showing a stress test using prime 95 so I choose actually the maximum heat to stress test uh, unfortunately I was not able to uh, capture the video using the stock color so this one i am only able to capture using the color master aftermarket so using the stock color actually goes 95 degrees and still increasing for only i think less than five minutes or three minutes of running the uh, prime 95 it already reached 90 plus degrees and never went down compared to uh, the aftermarket cooler you can see temperature is only around 75 percent 75 degrees it goes to 76 but uh, it never went up to 80 degrees I think only below uh, 18 degrees so far
So now let's go to uh, gaming. So I was able to capture PUBG using the stock cooler, as you can see above. Uh, above, yeah, the stock the stock cooler. The temperature actually reached up to 74 degrees. While below, you can see the aftermarket cooler. I'm only heating around 55 uh, degrees. So you can calculate the difference between the two. And as you can notice also, the speed of the clock speed of my CPU using the stock color is actually much higher compared to the other one. So this one actually totally the same uh, settings, the same workplace, the same PC. The only difference is the uh, uh, stock color, and all, uh, the, I mean the co color itself. Uh, you do need to s watch for the gameplay because yeah, I'm not good at uh, gaming actually. <laughs> so you can just revert on the temperature of the two uh, CPU using different coolers. So as you have noticed, the stock cooler actually reached to 82 degrees, so while the aftermarket still below 60 degrees. Don't look at don't look at the GPU or the graphics card temperature. Just look at the CPU, the blue one. So regarding the space actually that it will consume because this one, this cooler is actually big, I mean the aftermarket. But the good thing is um, you can adjust the fine. So actually I'm using a memory which is actually long but I was still able to install. But however on the fourth slot you cannot, um, I mean the first slot of the RAM you, can, you cannot already install. So that's the thing you need to sacrifice. But I'm using already two eight gigs, so I have sixteen gigs. So I think I sh will be fine with that particular RAM. So it depends on your preference. So this one, this one is uh with uh, CS:GO. So the above, as you can see, is the stock cooler. So the temperature is actually seventy-five degrees. While below, uh, we're only around 60 degrees. So above, actually, I can only reach up to 3.9 uh, gigahertz clock speed. While below, I can reach uh, 4 gigahertz or sometimes above uh, higher. But uh, you, you need to take note. Um, um, this one is actually a uh, stock CPU. I didn't uh, overclock. I didn't change anything. But still, somehow, yeah, uh, I'm experiencing uh, high temperature when I do uh, heat video uh, export using uh, Shotcut. I don't know about other application.
So these two games just is using same settings actually. Just exact uh, settings. Same uh, ambient uh, temperature in the room. Same workstation. Same PC. Only difference is the cooler. So it depends on your preference. Uh, I selected actually uh, air cooler because yeah, it's hard for me to maintain the water cooler and I, I also not familiar with that one. So it depends on you. As you can see, yeah, that's the cooler installed in my um, PC right now. So it's actually RGB. You have the controller, you can uh, connect the controller. And you have also the option if your motherboard support RGB. So mine ha is actually MSI that support uh, RGB MSI 450 Tomahawk so as you can see the RAM clearance see you can see my RAM there it's quite big but uh, somehow I'm quite satisfied so I think this can help also for anyone who's looking for uh, air cooler so thank you for watching in case uh, if you like it please uh, hit the like button and subscribe thank you